Shalom, Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shah, Ka Hala Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Waha Raka Kwadash, double honor to the men who taught me this truth, the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, peace and blessings to the hopeful elect that continue in the work of our Lord and our Savior, Yahweh Shah, and all fear shall warm. Lord willing, this lesson will be edifying. This lesson is entitled Mental Equilibrium. As the book of Isaiah, chapter 33, and verse 6 tells us, And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times. And the times that's about to happen, all right, upon the soils of America is total chaos. Now, we are in the beginning stages of Jacob's trouble. All right, pursuant to the book of Jeremiah, chapter 30 and verse 7, all right? But it hasn't fully flourished yet, okay? So Jake is able to still go about their average day-to-day, -day, all right? If we take a view around the world, the world has reached those evil times. It's total chaos going on across the globe, all right? The world is on fire, all right? And this is the virgin daughter of Babylon here in America, meaning she has never been touched. She has always uh, cast war upon other nations, all right, and the nation's land made it desolate, all right, but that desolation and that destruction and that evil times has not come upon the soils of America yet, all right, just like the scripture says, the vision is yet for an appointed time, all right, and that appointed time is now. We are in the beginning stages of Jacob's trouble, all right, and the virgin daughter of Babylon is about to be touched, meaning total um, anarchy, all right, and which meaning uh, without law and without rule is about to happen to the soils of America, all right? Total chaos is, is about to come upon the soils of America, all right? And when those times uh, become fully in effect, the only ones that's going to have mental equilibrium, all right, when you, when, when you look at uh, equilibrium, it's a, a, a balance within the physical, all right? But in the times that's about to happen to the soils or upon the soils of America, you're going to have to have mental equilibrium. And that's going to come by this wisdom and knowledge, all right? The spirit being upon you, all right? Mental equi equilibrium, all right, is just really stability, which is really uh, um, having a calm state of mind or being able to keep your composure, when, when all out hell is breaking loose around you. Isaiah 33 and verse 6 again. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times. All right, so the men that are um, subscribing to this truth, all right, that are uh, keeping their hand on the plow, Lord willing, all right, we are the ones that are subscribing to the true wisdom and knowledge that shall be the stability of thy times. And that times... It's Jacob's trouble, which we are in the beginning stages, but it hasn't fully uh, come uh, 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 or it hasn't fully blossomed yet. All right. That's going to be our mental equilibrium. That's going to be our stability, wisdom and knowledge. It it said, the scripture says, and strength of salvation. All right. The fear of the Lord, Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shah, is his treasure. All right. And the strength of our salvation is, is what uh, uh, wisdom and knowledge, wisdom um, being experience, all right, and by you having experience, that brings about knowledge, which brings about you knowing, okay, um, and, and having uh, what, uh, good judgment, man, having, uh, um, having, your, having a, a sound state of mind or a calm state of mind, having your composure, all right? It says the fear of the Lord, Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shah, is his treasure, all right, and we fear the Most High, all right, because Ezekiel um, chapter 3 and verse 17 tells us, Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. We are the watchmen that the Most High have been made unto the house of Israel, starting with the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. All right, a watchman on every coast, giving the people, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, on down to you so-called Mexicans, the warning. 
uh, which is all hell is going to break loose upon the soils of America. Seek ye the Lord right now. All right. It says, therefore, hear the word at my mouth and give them, all right, the, the Israelites, warning from me. All right. So we are giving you the warning from the Most High. We are telling you what the Most High is telling you, all right, that he's about to allow Esau Edom to come down upon you, Jakes, all right, with a race riot. He's about to allow Esau Edom to try to impute his RFID chip slash NFC chip. He's about to allow Esau Edom to, to uh, bring concentration camps, to create martial law, all right? And that's going to bring about total chaos upon the virgin daughter of Babylon. She's about to be touched. And the only ones that's going to have that uh, mental equilibrium, which is a, a mental balance, is those that are uh, are seeking this wisdom and, and this knowledge right now, all right? Seeking that protective hedge, okay? Um, the book of Job, that's right. That protective hedge must be about you, all right? And that's, that's going to be upon the ones that are, as the book of Ephesians, first chapter tells us, that are, that is predestinated or preordained, all right? Lord willing, we be a part of those men. That's why we're Storing up our treasures in heaven right now. This is uh, Job 1, verse 10, speaking about the hedge. It says, Has not thou made an hedge about him and about his house and about all that he hath on every side? And this is Satan speaking to the Most High concerning Job because the Most High considered Job unto Satan. All right? And we are being considered every day. All right? Lord willing, we keep that hedge about us to be protected. And these 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 demons, all right, that comes in the physical form, all right, from the uh, spiritual being Satan, can't touch us. It says, thou has, thou has, Salakia, Job 1 and 10, has not thou made an hedge about him and about his house and about all that he hath on every side? Has, has thou has blessed the work of his hands and his substance is increased in the land, all right? Now, we are in the steed or, or, or the stead. We are in uh, the likeness of a Job, being the hopeful elect. We have a protective hedge about us, and we pray to have that protective hedge, or we give diligence to make that calling of the election sure we are storing up treasures in heaven right now so that we have, so that we can have that protective hedge in these times where America or the virgin daughter of Babylon is going to be touched. All right, that's having mental equilibrium. All right, uh, let's jump back to Isaiah 33 and 6. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and strength of salvation. What is our salvation? Yahweh Shai. All right, and that strength that we're going to have, Lord willing that he give us those spiritual powers. All right, Lord willing that he allow, that, allow the spirit to stay upon us and we have that mental equilibrium. In those times, it says, the fear of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, is his treasure, all right? So the fear of the Most High, because Ezekiel 33 just told us uh, to give them warning from me. So Allah Shaijah is about to allow terrible times to happen upon the soils of America, that virgin daughter of Babylon, all right? Virgin daughter meaning uh, um, she has not been touched, all right? And if you know a daughter, all right, comes after, all right? And that's why America is that virgin daughter of Babylon, because it has, this, this is the modern day Babylon. It has came after the ancient daughter of Babylon. All right. So when the scripture speaks of the virgin daughter of Babylon, it's speaking of America because she has not been touched. But America saw is about to be touched with chaos and all out war. All right. And we, we must have that mental equilibrium. Okay. Because we fear Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai right now. That's why we're storing up our treasures in heaven. All right, um, Psalms, uh, Psalms 91, this is an example, all right, Salakia, Psalms 91, and in verse 1, he that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty, that's having that protective hedge about you. All right, what is the secret place? This wisdom and this knowledge, all right? These dark sands, us having the eye salve to see uh, what's about to come down the pipe, which is total chaos that leads to the ultimate destruction of America, 
all right? And those that have that mental equilibrium, that calm state of mind, have keeping their composure in those times, which is the spirit being upon them, all right? Those are the ones, all right, that the uh, nation of Israel shall be saved through because two-thirds of our people are going to bug out, all right? They're going to uh, uh, get destroyed in these times, all right? But we being up under the shadow of the Almighty, we shall be protected. That's that protective hedge that Job had about him, all right? Um, let's get one more scripture. Um, the book of Ephesians. Chapter 6, and verse 11, it says, I'm going to start at verse 10. Finally, my brethren, the hopefully elect in our case, be strong in the Lord, Yahweh Shai, and in the power of his might. All right, because Yahweh Shai is going to go before us, man. Yahweh Shai is going to be our protector in these times that's coming up. That's why we're going to have that mental equilibrium. Verse 11, it says, Put on the whole armor of the Most High, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. All right? Wiles mean, meaning tricks. All right? And we're putting on the whole armor right now, that we're able to have stability or have that mental equilibrium in these times. Verse 12, it says, For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, the wicked elites, because the Most High is going to put the Spirit upon them to uh, bring all of these things upon the soils of America. Because they are, they, they, that's, that's the devil right there that the Bible speaks of. All right, that's the wicked that the Bible speaks of. All right, the spiritual being Satan works through them. The scripture says against spiritual wickedness in high places. And that speaks of them also, the wicked elites, all right? It says, therefore, take unto you the whole armor of the Most High, that ye may be able to stand in the evil day, and having done all to stand, all right? It says, therefore, take, take unto you the whole armor of the Most High, all right? And that's this uh, wisdom and knowledge, all right? That, that shall be the stability of thy times, that ye may be able to withstand the evil day. All right, that's having mental equilibrium. All right, that's having uh, uh, the stability of thy times. All right, the whole armor of the Most High. It says that ye may be able to withstand the evil day. That's enduring. All right, what's that evil day? When when all out hell break loose. All right, when 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 anarchy comes upon the soils of the virgin daughter of Babylon. It says, and having done all to stand and we're doing all to stand in that time we're, we're we're working to have that protective hedge about us in those times all right we're, we're we're storing up our treasures in heaven to have that protective hedge about us in that in those times verse 14 stand therefore having your your lawns grit about with truth and having the breastplate of righteousness that's right we're, that that's what's going to uh, get us through that the wisdom and knowledge this, this truth man all right, that's going to be our protective hedge. This that, that's the secret place of the Most High, being in this truth. It says, "And your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace." All right, uh, walking that straight and narrow, having your feet um, uh, um, illuminated. All right, having your path illuminated. All right, which is uh, having Yahweh Shai, which He is the light of men. Okay, and that man meaning men being the light. Of the elect of the nation of Israel, the prophets. All right. It says, verse 16, above all, take the shield of faith. See, above all, take the shield of faith. Because that's going to be your protector. All right. The shield of faith. Okay. Wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. Verse 17, and take the helmet of salvation. All right. That's going to protect your spirit, man. The helmet. Protects your spirit, the helmet of salvation, all right? Which is Yahweh Shai, man. Yahweh Shai is salvation, man. You know, it says, And the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God, which is also Yahweh Shai, all right? Which that's going to be what we're, that's what we're fighting with. That's why the weapons of our warfare are not kernel. We're fighting, all right, with the spirit, the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. That's what we fight with. All right, 
Verse 18, praying always with all prayer and supplications in the spirit and watching thereunto with all the perseverance and supplication for all saints. All right. So that's what we're doing, man. All right. Because we know that these times are about to happen. And that's mental equilibrium that the, that the, that the most high shall stow upon those that have been predestinated. All right. So, Lord willing, I pray that this been edifying. I'm going to stop right there. All right. Those that that continue in this truth, those that endure unto the end, the same shall be saved, as the, as the scripture says. All right. That's having mental equilibrium in these times that's about to hit the soils of America, which is the uh, total chaos. All right. But, Lord willing, I pray that this been edifying. Barakatha, Yahweh, Barakatha, Yahweh, Shai, Kal Halal, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh, Shai. Waha Raka Kwadash, double honor to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Peace and blessings to the hopeful elect. Shalom and death to America.